Marshall Nidenberg and Jonathan Richard Mahaki used an enzyme called polynucleotide phosphorylase to create synthetic RNAs. The enzyme does not need a template and randomly links together any RNA nucleotides that are available. They used homopolymers and created uracil nucleotides which contain only the UUU codons. They added these polyuse RNAs QNRAs to, to trinity test cubes. The test cubes contained all trinity amino acids and the other necessities for its translation. In each cube, a different amino acid was radioactive, and in the cube where phenylmelin was radioactive, there was a radioactive protein. The results did not disprove the poly -U code, that polyu coded for phenylene Poly C coded for proline and poly A coded for lysine. The poly G results could not be discovered because there were technical issues. Marshall Nienenberg and Philip Lear used ribosome bound TNRAs. They used short M mRNAs because they bonded to the ribosomes and matched with the anti coyons for the, on the key RNA. They then synthesized more than 50 short on mRNAs with known codons. The mRNAs were individually added to a mixture that contains TNRAs with amino acids. The next step was to isolate the TNRAs that were bonded and determine the amino acids that were present presented on the TNRA. They were able to figure out more than 50 codons and this shot depicts them.